You sent for me, Caesar? Caesar. Tell me again, Maximus. Why are we here? For the glory of the Empire, sire. Ah, yes. Ah, oh, yes, I remember. Do you see that map, Maximus? That is the world which I created. For 25 years, I have conquered, spilt blood, expanded the Empire. Since I became Caesar, I've known four years without war. Four years of peace in 20. And for what? I brought the sword. Nothing more. Caesar, your life, please. Please don't call me that. Come. Please. Come sit. Let us talk together now. Very simply, as men. Well, Maximus. Talk. Five thousand of my men are out there in the freezing mud. Three thousand of them are bloodied and cleaved. Two thousand will never leave this place. I will not believe that they fought and died for nothing. And what would you believe? They Maximus? fought for you. And for Rome. And what is Rome, Maximus? I've seen much of the rest of the world. It is brutal and cruel and dark. Rome is the light. Yet you have never been there. You have not seen what it has become. I am dying, Maximus. When a man sees his end, he wants to know there was some purpose to his life. How will the world speak my name in years to come? Will I be known as the philosopher, the warrior, the tyrant? Or will I be the emperor who gave Rome back her true self? There was once a dream that was Rome. You could only whisper it, anything more than a whisper, and it would vanish. It was so fragile. And I fear that it will not survive the winter. Maximus, let us whisper now, together, you and I. You have a son. Tell me about your home. My house is in the hills above Tehillo. Very simple place. Pink stones that warm in the sun. Um, kitchen garden that smells of herbs in the day. Jasmine in the evening. Through the gate is a giant poplar. Pigs, apples, pears, the soil, Marcus, black. Black like the, my wife's hair. <laughs> Grapes on the south slopes, olives on the north. Wild ponies playing in my house. They teach my son he wants to be one of them. When was the last time you were home? Two years, 264 days, and this morning. I envy you, Maximus. It was a good home. Worth fighting for? There is one more duty that I ask of you before you go home. What would you have me do, Caesar? I want you to become the protector of Rome after I die. I will empower you to one end alone, to give power back to the people of Rome and end the corruption that has crippled it. Accept this great honor that I have offered you. With all my heart, no. Maximus, that is why it must be you. But surely a prefect, a senator, somebody who knows the city, who understands her politics. But you have not been corrupted by her politics. And Commodus? Commodus is not a moral man. You have known that since you were young. Commodus cannot rule. He must not rule. You are the son that I should have had. 
Commodus will accept my decision? He knows that you command the loyalty of the army. I need some time, sire. Yeah. By sunset, I hope you will have agreed. Now embrace me as my son. And bring an old man another blanket. 